Good morning. My name is Lana Marini Rejeki, and you are watching Tumbu High School News Updates. Indonesia has passed the peak of the coronavirus outbreak since nearly three weeks ago, the National COVID-19 Task Force claimed on Thursday. The task force says that the number of active cases and hospital admissions have been in a steady decline after the 24th of July, when the country registered a record of 570,000 active cases. Dewi Nur Aisha, the task force's IT and data center head, said in a video conference that Indonesia has passed the peak of COVID-19 as we saw a 25% fall or a reduction by 60,000 active cases on August 8th. She said that the current statistics were very encouraging. She added that the team examines the development every week in hopes that the total number of active cases will be moving downwards steadily. Only in the last two weeks have we seen a consistent fall. But she was quick to add that this devastating health crisis is far from over, noting that new COVID cases are still surging dramatically in certain provinces. Between July 4th and August 8th, several provinces have registered a growth of more than 10,000 active cases each. They include North Sumatra, West Sumatra, East Kalimantan, South Kalimantan, South Sulawesi, and Riau. North Sumatra have recorded the most dramatic surge from fewer than 2,000 active cases on July 4th to more than 24,000 on August 8th. The declining number of active cases and hospital admissions was eclipsed by the fatality toll, which has been in four-digit territory since July 16th. Indonesia has been past average 1,600 COVID cases in the past week, Dewi said. The virus has killed more than 100,000 people in Indonesia since the pandemic began. Around a third of the overall death toll occurred in July alone. The country has added 24,000 new cases in the past 24 hours for a total of 3.77 million. The total number of active cases stands at 400,000. Earlier this week, the government extended the COVID-19 lockdown by another week in Java and Bali, and by a fortnight in 45 stricken districts and cities on other islands to maintain the momentum of falling active COVID cases. Thank you for watching. My name is Lana Marini and now back to your usual morning program.